Hey yo! Welcome back to the Dugget and Beyond. So, of course, we're just over a week over the uh, opening day. Of course, we, yes, we had a couple games for the Dodgers and Padres in, so in South Korea for uh, part of the World Series uh, tour that MLB is doing. But yeah, basically, every team's actually basically caught up to them. I think they're each still two, two games ahead of every other team. But uh, yeah, of course, we have some, uh, I think we have some surprises in the league right now. Um, with not only uh, with teams and players and how they're all doing right now. Uh, first, I want to do um, some surprises that we have with teams. Uh, we have the Tigers are doing very well. Um, they're they've been kind of killing it. Okay, they have a very good, exciting team though um, going on down there uh, or up uh, central central of the um, the country right now. But yeah, we have of course um, we have Spencer Torkelson has been up in the league for a couple of years now at this point. They have, uh, they got Jack Flaherty who of course has been a star pitcher for uh, a long time for the, um, for just in the league in general, honestly. But yeah, they, uh, it's, it's kind of coming so for some teams right now. It's coming together right now. Um, yeah, Flaherty has right now, uh, one game, um, one game on one save ERA about just under, uh, about one and a half around there. A pretty good, really good whip. Uh, for the season right now, but yeah, the, uh, Andrew Ch um, Chafin was really good for them. But this team, they they've of course not been great for a while, so it kind of helps you, you in the draft. You in the um, you're just going to get pieces out there. Uh, Casey Mize, who is kind of he's he's pretty new. He he, he came up um, I think about a year two years ago. Um, he hasn't, I, he has, it doesn't look, I don't think he's done anything this year yet. Um, but yeah, you have a lot of young guys trying to make, um, trying to help this team do really well. Javi Baez, it, Javier, if you, um, it, Javi, Javier, um, he's not doing great, but he's also not doing as bad as he was really last year. He, he was in a massive slump last year for a lot of it. He got basically like, yell that for for a little bit but yeah uh, right now he's just under um two um two er on uh, two average um a couple hits a couple runs no home runs but uh he, he again very slow he basically had no hits um exactly same thing with anthony rendon um rendon on the angels basically robbing the angels right now honestly of hundred of millions of dollars but let's stick with the uh, Tigers for a little bit still here. Turkle Sin um, right now is doing average-ish. He's, um, he's not great, but he, again, I'm, I'm not... Some of these are surprises right now for the beginning of the year and how they're supposed to be, I guess, in a way you can say. He, um, he's a top draft pick. A couple, uh, I think it was 2019 he got drafted here. Um, debuted... Uh, two years ago, actually almost um, to the day, and he came out of Arizona. Yeah, first round pick in 2020, so COVID year, of course. Um, but yeah, he he came out really hot. Um, his overall average right now, career average, is just uh, is two is just over 220, which obviously is not great. But for someone that kind of sprinted through a little bit through the uh, through the minors in two years. You can't, sometimes they gotta get some um, some leeway to that, but overall this team is being basically under uh, basically being top of the league right now. A cup um about over just over a week in, it's pretty impressive. Uh, but of course you gotta have that consistency throughout the 162. Um, yeah, for the most part, Tigers doing doing pretty freaking good, honestly. Um, other teams we have, um, now I think it is a surprise because of the way that they surprised the league last year and how bad they did. Is the Yankees coming out pretty hot, sweeping the Astros right off the bat? Basically, their arch nemesis for us um, number of years. It hurts me to um, to keep on just re reliving those days with uh, a lot of the stuff happened. But um, they did lose their winning streak to the um, Diamondbacks. Not mad. Good game. They got blown out though. Um, all that um, in that game, but yeah, good start for them. That there is a there's 
not really surprised with um, two. I would say one or two surprises. One's not really a crazy surprise, but Aaron Judge not been doing good. He, um, he as a Yankee fan, I'm very on top of what he is doing. Again, we're really, really, really early in the season, so things can just kind of flip a switch for some people and just do it, start doing well. Um, he's basically he's under 150 average, which is terrible for him. He's he's uh, his career average right now is um, 280, which again not great. You kind of want to have be 300 um, around 300 ish is a very good average, but he's uh, kind of been getting a lot of called strikes on him very low. Again, he is six, I think six seven, I think six seven six eight around there, and he's getting it called. A foot and a half below the strike zone, and this, and granted, when he was um, when he was just in the league at first, he was like, "Hey, I, I can't really talk. I'm Aaron Judge. I'm not really like a known person." But now you're like a known person in six, 62 home runs. Um, uh, I think uh, AO um, MVP before, of course, snubbed a couple years ago by Altuve, but one of the best. He's been one of the best players on one of the best teams for a number of years at this point. You're an Aaron Judge at this point. You have a name. You can talk back. You can have a little talk back to the ump. Like, come on. Like, he had a talk back with the ump the, um, against the Diamondbacks. And he's not getting in their face, which is not what you should do. You should not get in their face. That's how, you, that's how it's a quick ejection. But he's getting in their face. Like, come on, man. Like, I know where I'm looking now at this point. Like, I know what I'm doing. I can hit good, although he's in a pretty big slump right now. Um, but that is one of my bigger surprises of um, this season right now. Gotten some hits here and there. He's gotten, he um, came off really crappy um, out it, um, crappy series against the Astros. But I think two hits out of like 16 at-bats. First, first at-bat hit right down the middle. And I was like, okay, maybe there's a Flip switching already. He, he was out for the last couple weeks of spring training, but uh, with abdominal issues, which that definitely hurts when you swing. Especially, I don't know where it is on him. They didn't expect. I didn't think they specified, but it's definitely right there, and it definitely probably hurts. But he was out for a couple of games. He they were showing videos to make like all of us fans like, okay, he's he's probably good. Just to give him a couple day, give him one or a like, couple days to heal, ice it up. But he's. Definitely starting very slow for this team, um, but yeah, I'm. I think that there was gonna be a flip switching again. We're so early in the season that you can basically have such a bad. I don't want to jinx or spoil for any anyone right now in the league, but yeah. Um, uh, other other surprising things I have here is that um, that Pittsburgh Pirates are in a very very good team right now um it's kind of crazy how you think that like yeah you hear about um paul Skeens, who just got drafted from um lsu of course they won um the championship last year he's not in the majors yet and he's already kind of up there but yeah they this team very like skittish around you don't really like there's a lot of people like even like the ones i'm wearing there might be some players you don't even know in that team that are doing so well, which actually, there's actually a surprise in my head that I think that they're, they're, it's kind of going opposite of what you would kind of think. So um, stick, stick around for that in a little bit. But uh, of course, there's some players in that team that they're kind of, it's like, I feel like it's kind of like weirdest puzzle pieces that they're putting together in that team. They have uh, now... World Series, um, World Series champion twice. A role that Chapman's on that team. Of course, he had the crazy time with being the Yankees. He was on the Yankees, got traded to, um, to the uh, Cubs. Won World Series with them. Came back, had a crap time with them. Um, he had the whole thing where he just didn't um, show up. He wasn't doing good. He, you would kind of like hold your breath. You're like, oh my God, it's Chapman. What, what pitch is coming? Even if there's no one on, you think the world, the world's ending as a fan. It was just bad. Then he left the team. The team kicked him off. He went to the Rangers. Won a World Series with the Rangers. Then they got um, basically, uh, I, I think he got traded or something with them. Now he's on the Pirates. This man has the craziest, um, craziest like thing with them. But yeah, they have. Um, of course, you have with that came up last year. Um, O'Neal, uh, you have here with 
uh, O'Neill Cruz, six, seven, um, basically now he's a sophomore, basically in the league at this point. Um, he's basically not, he's, he's actually doing very well. He's one of the team um, players that are actually part of why they're doing so well. Right now, just over a three, um, three, um, average, a 300 average, very good uh, home run here. And yeah, this team is just kind of, again, kind of being put by together by puzzle pieces and minor league players that are being developed by them. Uh, Rowdy Tele um, Telez, good player. He's been good throughout, um, especially I, I think he's on the uh, the Brewers before with them. Um, yeah, so it's, uh, I think he was, yeah, um, yeah, Milwaukee, Toronto, uh, Pittsburgh. So yeah, he's been on a couple teams, but he's he's been, again, he's been a known player for a while. But again, two, 250 average right now, home run. Um, so he's he's kind of in the mix with why they're doing as well as they are. But uh, Brian Reynolds, who signed actually a big contract last year to stay with them. I think it was 10 years uh, or something like that. Um, to stay with the Pirates um, as a, um, of course, yeah, it was uh, eight years, $106.75 million for Brian Reynolds to stay with them. Um, Michael Taylor, who actually was on the Royals, um, Washington Royals, um, Pittsburgh, uh, Minnesota, Pittsburgh. So he's had, he's he's made a name for himself. He's um, pretty good. Um pretty good player for them he again they're they're just picking out they, you got to get good people in the, in the office um in the front office to go get these pieces for them but very i think they were one of the biggest surprises so far this year um again talking about the brewers we had the brewers also doing very well and on the flip side in that same one the cardinals are doing crap um yeah they um cardinals again have Literally, like, four pieces on this team that are all basically gold glove, winner, gold glove winners. You have um, you have all of them right there in the front. For, you have Los, um, Los Contreras, good catcher. You have Nolan Arenado, solid um, third baseman over here. You have Brandon Crawford, great elf, um, great, great player to end in. Um, Goldschmidt, no, um, Nor Gorman. There's no shortage of all stars on this team. Jordan Walker, who's coming up very well, um, suited for the for the majors. No, Lars Newbar. There, I can go through this team, and you can almost know every single person. It's kind of, and they're doing, kind of for the second year in a row, pretty bad. Again, things can switch, but these teams are just going crazy. So uh, yeah, with the Marlins we have here, of course, he had last year was. One of the best hitters in the league we had for uh, for the Marlins was um, you had here for them was um, infielders was um, Luis Arise, who right now he of course had basically more than halfway through the season he had about a 400 average, which helped that crank up his average um, his career average to 324. Right now he's at 200. He's um, he's had some hits here and there, but nothing. You, I'm pretty sure he went like 0 for 9, um, in his in, in the first couple of games, at nothing, nothing from this man. He had zero um zero effort for it. Um, you have Tim, Tim Anderson doing all right, but not where he should be. Um, but yeah, this is again a lot of surprises here and there. Um, Rockies bottom of the bottom of the trenches again. Um, so right now, I think that the one I think let's see about any com, um, any division that has the biggest surprise ranking right now. I think we, I would say um, probably the AL Central, kind of a little flipped, especially with the Tigers being at the top um, currently, and Central. I always think that the central for AL and NL are always so weird. You have such a tight race all the time at the end with the top teams or or just wild card teams for that matter. And the other divisions are always just kind of flipped around. 
But we also have, I, um, honestly, with the uh, AL West, we also have su uh, kind of surprised. Of course, you have the Astros. Uh, you have the Astros just got swept by the Yankees. So they are at the bottom right now, um, basically, with the uh, A's. That's not a surprise. Um, but the Angels are doing quite well. Um, you got, of course, they just lost Shohei to the Dodgers for a massive 10 years, 700 million with that, all that deferred. But you got a lot going on with these teams, and again, I will. I'll probably be doing some updates throughout this throughout the season. But God, get I wanted to get some first week to about two week uh, status up here with some of these teams and surprises and players. Um, you have a good, but you have, I think some of these teams, some of these divisions are either top heavy right now or just bad. And then there's some that are actually very even, like the AL East. Um, I think the uh, Mar uh, the and then I think that's actually yeah. Right now, that's right now the only division that is basically very good or average. There's no there's no very good and bad on them. It's it's very average, and uh, yeah, right now. I don't know uh, how long these re these records and streaks are going to last for. Of course, we had last year. I think it was um, t um, <coughs> Rays um, twenty um, record lasted twenty games. So uh, yeah, we just got to wait and see. Of course, got a long road ahead. We're lo we're seven eight games depending on if you're uh i think for the dodgers they are right now eight games in not uh to 10 they're about 10 10 11 games in right now um which would mean that the other teams are either about nine i don't know when they're gonna have a break because then teams are gonna most teams are gonna probably have one to two games in that time that they don't have a game to catch up to them um but yeah this is right now again very exciting. I love the, uh, I, if you don't know, there's a reason that this is called Dug and Beyond. I'm a huge baseball fan, so you're going to have some more videos on uh, the whole season and just what's happening. So, um, thanks for watching. So hit that subscribe button for more, um, for more videos and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!